Hey there, fellows. Recently, we conducted an interesting experiment where we used these sort of wonderful products, like grease, oil, and uh, some other fluids that would serve the purpose of lubrication. We applied those to brake rotors to see how they'd behave. And the results were slightly, I mean, they were actually truly amazing. We had a look at the comments section, and we got a lot of people who suggested instead of using lubricants, we go ahead and try that which gives you the opposite effect. Such as this here valve grinding paste. Abrasive compounds should increase the friction. And so we thought about it, and here's what we brought. Some valve grinding paste, also some abrasive polish wax, of the gritty type that we use to polish the bodywork. Plus we have some sand, which is quite obviously abrasive. And another thing that immediately comes to mind, good old toothpaste. This is of the whitening variety, meaning that it contains some sort of abrasive additive, like baking soda or something like that, I don't know. Feel the freshness for ten times longer. That's exactly what we need. And just for laughs, we've bought some of this stuff. Facial scrub. For treating skin imperfections. In our case, it'll serve the purpose of treating and cleansing brake pads. New pads for each experiment. Now, since we have all of this, all of these ingredients at our disposal, let's go ahead and try all of it out. Stock brakes. We accelerate, brake, and see how far the car is going to go on the stock brakes. Let's do this. And here we go. That's 80. Holy cow, isn't that something? That was great. Looks like the tire temperatures are spot on. The car was decelerating very well. The brakes weren't locking up. That was terrific. Why are you looking at me like that? What's with the stopping distance? Why are you walking like that, dude? I can tell you right now it was 35 meters. Steps are one and a half meters long. I'd say that's a stopping distance of about 40 meters. Which is pretty decent. 32? We'll factor in your shoe size and that'll be about 40. Now we just need to apply something abrasive to the rotors. Right? Start with something mild, cleansing, so it'll be scrub first, right? Facial scrub. Okay, so here we have the scrub. Yeah, it feels like it's got sand in it. That's obviously not what it really is. But we don't really know what exactly they put into this stuff. I'm just going to put it right onto the rotor. Like so. All right, so we've applied some scrub to the rotors. And now let's see how it's going to scrub the pads. That'll be 80 kilometers an hour. Come on, scrub, do your thing. Do your cleaning. The cleansing is done, holy cow. Isn't that something? It smells like bamboo? No, it smells weird. Would you say? It's a peculiar smell. Yeah, but... I can't really tell you what that is. It has to be the scrub itself. That's another 40 meters. So stopping distance has increased to, what did you say before? 36. Yeah, so that's about 40 meters. Five minutes prior. 32? We'll factor in your shoe size and that'll be about 40. Even though that scrub is abrasive, 
The braking performance is degraded. Check this out, guys. We've removed the pads. Yeah, and you can tell that they were doing something. You can see that the scrub has been pushed towards the outside. It didn't do anything for us. Not that we expected it to. I mean, what do you want from a facial scrub? Right, well, now let's try something else. Next up, we have toothpaste. Containing some sort of sparkles that apparently whiten your teeth. Like the man said, toothpaste. We'll start by replacing the pads. Then we're gonna drive around to make sure the brakes are back at baseline. And then we can get to applying the toothpaste. Let's go. This will either improve braking performance or it won't. Okay, let's do this. Stopping and... Uh, come on, come to a stop already! Stop, come on, stop. I almost swore there, but it came to a stop. Holy cow, did this thing travel far! Holy cow, that was just... Twice the difference compared to last time. Right, so 35, 35, and... Uh... Yes, yeah, Sergey, that's about another 30... Each time it's a 30 meter increment. Like, for real. Not the best trend, eh? Yeah, this isn't the sort of trend... And we're not even done yet. Whatever, at least we have plenty of straight road. How much? 37. We can call it 35 for good measure. Okay, so from the looks of it, the whitening component of the toothpaste works very poorly. Did it do a good job of whitening the rotor, though? Okay, let's see... what the whitening toothpaste has done. Oh, holy cow. What can I even tell you? You didn't really whiten them, did it? This would seem to be the opposite. <laughs> and it's a pretty unpleasant smell. I'd imagine it got burned, and that's what's causing the unpleasant aroma. Why aren't they white? Also, we had an enormous additional increase in the stopping distance. But we'll discuss all of this a bit later. Now, with these rotors looking all dark and unpleasant, let's throw some polish into the mix. To smoothen these out, make them nice and shiny. And we'll see how that affects performance. Abrasive polish wax. All right, so this polish has got a relatively fine grit to it, but it's the most abrasive thing we're using so far. We've applied some of it to the rotors, and now let's see how it's able to polish them rotors. So far, so good. And here we are. Oh, holy cow! Wow, that was really good. Better than the... Oh, much better. Do you see the difference? Better than the toothpaste. Yeah, you can say that again. So look here, compared to the stock brakes... No, it's not even 30, that's about 20 meters further. 
And so we've established that the polish does a way better job compared to the facial scrub as well as the toothpaste we used, which is of the whitening variety with some special additives. Stopping distance is only about 15 meters worse. So let's get to the next item, and that would be sand. Right, so we removed the wheel after using the polish, and the rotor indeed has become all smooth and clean and nice. Shiny, so the compound did what it was supposed to. And the brakes were actually functioning fairly well in the process. But now we're gonna clean these, wipe them down, throw in a new set of pads, grab some sand, a little bit of grease, and apply it all to these brake rotors. Let's get to it. Sand plus grease. <laughs> Holy cow! I would not call that an excellent result by any means. So the car was decelerating, but for some reason, it didn't break immediately. As in, I pressed the pedal, and something strange was happening initially. I mean to say the brakes were obviously underperforming. And then at a certain point, they suddenly engaged. So sand mixed with a bit of grease is not the best thing for your brake rotors. But no worries, we have got one more thing to try out. And that is the valve grinding paste. Valve grinding paste. A bunch of people requested we specifically try out valve grinding paste. 70. And that would be 80. Stop accelerating. That was excellent. And what do we got? I can smell a bit of burnt rubber. So the brakes were locking up slightly. And so check this out. This cone marks the polish wax, or what's the right name for it? And this would be the valve grinding paste. And as for everything else, we stopped way further. Let's do a recap. That cone marks the start of the braking zone. We hit 80 Ks and began to brake. And as we move along, this is how the whole thing went. After about 35 meters, we have this cone right here. It marks the stopping distance on regular old stock lot of brakes. Let's keep moving. And after walking about another 15 meters beyond that first braking cone, we have got the polish. It was the grittiest, but despite that fact, apparently compared to all of the other compounds, I don't know, it didn't contain any components that would have prevented the pads from sticking? That would have provided a bit of initial lubrication. In any case, from a speed of 80 k's, the car traveled an extra 15 meters compared to the stock brakes. Next item. We walk about another 5 meters, and we got a canister that marks the stopping distance on valve grinding paste. 20 extra meters, and let's see what's next. And so this time, we're walking another 15 meters forward, and what do we got? It's something... 
You would probably call a rather mild cleanser. Specifically, I am referring to the facial scrub. And compared to where the car came to a stop on the factory brakes, that's about another 35 meters. But we're not done just yet. And we only had to walk another two and a half meters. And this is where we have the sand mixed with grease. I mean, when you've got that sort of cocktail... My guess is that the grains of sand were sort of roundish, and they were rolling around in between the rotors and the pads. And that brought us all the way down here. I'd say that's almost an extra 40 meters even. Two and a half meters further than the last compound. But this isn't even the worst one. If we move forward to down there, uh, yeah. To the extra 40 meters at this mark, you're gonna have to add another 35. I mean... We were all quite shocked by this result. This was just incredible. What was so incredible about it? The whitening effect, of course. So this is the whitening toothpaste? And just look at how bad things were with the tooth powder. That is just... what? Paste. Look at how poorly the toothpaste performed. This takes the cake. The distance from here to the first braking cone... As for the one marking the start of the braking zone, you can't even see it from here. If I were to guess, this is somewhere around 70 meters or something like that. Imagine that. We are talking toothpaste of the kind used for whitening teeth. And I don't know. I always thought, or I could have heard it somewhere, that it's supposed to contain baking soda. But these whitening crystals or whatever, I mean, just look at this. They were quite effectively preventing the vehicle from decelerating. There was literally no friction between the rotors and the pads. And so those are the results, you saw it all for yourselves, and that's all I got for you. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. And that's it for this video, catch you guys later!